Love all y'all out there, man. Welcome to the show, Billionaire Charlie. How y'all doing out there, man? Man, this is going to be a great one for y'all today, man. Don't forget, man, to hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, man, and share each and every video, man. Go check out my catalog, man. I got some great ones out there, man, that y'all need to go check out. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all love, man. appreciate the support, man. Peace to the gods. Peace to all my good people out there, man. I love y'all, man. I really appreciate all the support y'all give me each and every time I step on these platform, man. Y'all make sure that I'm straight, man, and I appreciate that, man. But hit that like button, man. Get into the comment section and start writing me, telling me how y'all feel about these videos and things of that nature. But like I say, man, I got a good one for y'all today, man. Remember, my wife books is right there in the description box, man. Go to my store and go pick it up, man. You know what I'm saying? There's some good reads, man. Good, good, good reads for you. You know what I mean? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Billionaire Charlie. I am Billionaire Charlie. Hey, what's good with everybody out there, man? You back with your boy. I am Billionaire Charlie, man. And I'm great, y'all. Why am I so great? Why am I so rich, baby? <laughs> oh, man. Love y'all out there, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about it today, though, man. Y'all, don't forget, man, that we got the programs, man. We also got health products in the description down below, man. And if y'all trying to shop on my Amazon store, man, get your credit cards ready. You know what I mean? Everything's in the description box. Y'all go down there and check it out, man. And remember, man, share my videos, man. Hit that like button for me. And, and put your right, right in the comments, man. I love to talk to my people that support the channel, man. You dig what I'm saying? I really love that, man. So... Write in the comments, man, so we can um, communicate with each other, man. And uh, as, like I said, we're going to donate to the channel. It's cash at being there tops. But let's get into it, man. I was looking at uh, was Alex Thomas and uh, Corey Oakham, you know what I'm saying, and Steve Harvey and Mark Carey, you know what I'm saying? They call him Mr. Cooper, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into the Steve Harvey and Mark Carey situation first, man, right? And um, first of all, he was saying that, when they was doing the, uh, oh, the, uh, dang, it slipped my mind so quick, y'all. Forgive me on this, man. But Mark Curry have then been saying that Steve Harvey been stealing his jokes and kind of like doing his act, you know what I'm saying? And he was talking about, I got it now, the Apollo situation and how they cut him out all the way out of the Apollo and how he was one of the great performers that did his thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Faison was saying something about that too. He was having some problems with Steve Harvey because he said he told the stage up too. So he felt like it, it wasn't right that they were doing the Apollo thing without Mark Carey. You know what I mean? Everybody know him from Mr. Cooper and uh, Faison. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know Faison, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, my whole thing was this, man. I'm a big Steve Harvey fan to the fullest, man. But then I seen that clip on. I was just on Instagram. I think it was uh, Willie D. I think uh, Willie D. Uh, on, on Instagram and scrolled down and it showed a clip, and it was like Steve Harvey on a TMZ joint, and he was like, "Nah, what are you talking about? I don't, I, in 35 years, I haven't stole no jokes and this and that." And then the clip came, and they showed that uh, Mark Terry do his joke. I think it was Def Comedy Jam, if I'm not mistaken, or one of his comedy shows from way back in the days, and he told his Christmas joke about the box or whatever. And I'm like, dang. Not, not, not Christmas joke, it was a Halloween joke, right? Yeah, Halloween joke, because uh, talking about he had to get the outfit and shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But, and then I see Steve Harvey tell the exact same joke on his show. And he said he never took a joke and this and that. Then I see, uh, 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 what is it, Donnie Rollins in the comments section talking about uh, everybody got those stories like that. Nigga. <laughs> I love me some Steve Harvey to the to the core, bro. But that was the exact same joke, bro. That was the same joke. The whole pattern, everything, bro. I'm sitting there like, dang, that's the exact same joke. See, it's one thing if you like, like, bro was saying, uh, um, uh, Alex Thomas was saying, uh, about how if uh, when Obama became president, when you go to a, a comedy, uh, uh, a club, everybody gonna be telling uh, uh, Obama jokes, but if niggas jokes the same, that's that's a whole nother lane. You could tell Obama jokes, but those motherfuckers shouldn't be the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's why I say why why do people rehearse they they shit in front of other niggas? Like I'm not rehearsing none of my shit in front of nobody. Who the fuck how cool he is, nigga? I ain't rehearsing none of my shit in front of nobody, bro. The fuck out of here, nigga. 
You know what I'm saying? For real, bro. That's what Mark Kerr must have been doing. But see, this is the thing I say about Mark Kerr and um, Steve Harvey. Bro, they got the same image, bro. Like they, they like the same motherfuckers, bro. Like in and, and, and hindsight, if you really sit back and think about it, Mr. Cooper and Steve Harvey is like similar. They whole style have been similar for years, though. You know what I mean? The suits, the everything, bro. It's been like so similar. Uh, anybody that understand comedy that followed them, you know what I mean? Y'all kind of understand what I'm saying? Because he was working in the school and stuff like that. And then Steve Harvey show was doing the same thing. It's like they, they, they brand kind of like similar to each other. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, they he said that he didn't steal no joke. But that was the exact same joke that my um character was saying. That was the same joke, bro. That was Steve Harvey. That was the same joke. They got it all on the internet, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lay the duff, man. But they showed it, bro. Now they're saying Alex Thomas still in joke. Uh, Corey Hogan, Chicago comedian. Corey Hogan, one of my favorite comedy uh, guys that ever touched the stage. That dude is funny. I love me some Corey Hogan, man. What? What? I hope I'm not messing that man's name up. But that nigga is funny as shit, dog. Um, Y'all will be front row seat. That nigga funny, dog. Out of time, he funny as shit. They both funny to me. You know what I'm saying? Alice was like, he, ain't, he don't really fuck with Corey like that. He just one of them dark comedians. I kind of like comedians that do that. I like the Kevin Hart saying I like those type of comedians because they bring out another different dimension. You got to like the Bernie Mac. Who don't like Bernie Mac? Like, Bernie Mac wasn't no Kevin Hart type of uh, comedian. You know what I'm saying? He was a dark comedian. That nigga talked that shit. I bless him to the white meat. Well, that nigga, Bernie Mac would tell that shit, bro. Like, for real, dog. And like I say, I love all comedians, bro. But like I say, you got different styles, different people. You feel what I'm saying? At the time, I love that guy, man. I think he's a good dude. And on heart, and he was telling I was watching his interview, and he was talking about every or, or every Spence, man. Hope I ain't saying his name wrong, man. I'm tripping on my words right now. But him as a comedian, man, he could do all type of imitation. He was on Mad TV and all of that. Every Spears, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he's a great comedian too, man. You know what I'm saying? He's amazing, man. Do all type of imitations. He's great, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, he he he, he coming at on um, Alice saying like, how you around Eddie Murphy and all these big time comedians eating lobster and shrimp with these guys and they don't offer you a job. See, that's what people get fucked up in life, bro. It's a friendship. You know what I'm saying? Let everything happen naturally. You know, Eddie Murphy might have something for this nigga later on. You never know. But bro, I'm eating and enjoying food. I'm not begging for a nigga to do nothing for me. No, that's not how you do shit, bro. If I'm at a brunch with Jay-Z, Beyonce, Diddy, fucking DJ Child, all these niggas around, I'm not begging for nothing for them people. I just enjoy their conversation, enjoy their just being a with them. Like, this, this love, bro, we black, you know what I mean, entrepreneurs, guys that made it from the hood, that come up to have success. You know what I mean? So, Alex Thomas, is nothing wrong with networking. And being yourself. That's who you are, bro. Not begging a nigga for shit. Just building friendships and relationships. It it would be it would feel bad if my friend always begged for shit all the time. That nigga ain't your friend. That nigga's a beggar. Like you don't want people like that around you. You want a person to be around you because they love being around you. Not cause they want something from you, bro. And I feel like that was a him saying what he said, Alex um uh, Thomas saying what he's saying showed me that he was a real LA nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, and I respect the OG to the fullest for what he said. You a real nigga, bro. Like, point blank prayer, you not about to sit around begging niggas for shit. No, nah, bro. I love chilling with Eddie Murphy. I love chilling with Will Smith. I love chilling with Martin Lawrence. These my brothers, man. I'm not begging them for shit. That's the problem with the world. Niggas always want to be beggars, bro. No, work your ass. That's like my man, the OG. Uh, what's his name, man? The nigga that did, uh, I can't think of his name right now, man. My man, he my man's though, man. He was on the Breakfast Club spitting so much game, bro. Let your talent speak for itself, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can't think of his name right now, man. It's going to come to me, though. I can't think of his name right now, man. You know what I mean? He did uh, <clears throat> Tracy Morgan, man. Tracy Morgan, man. Yeah. He was on there talking about this comedian trying to get an audition or something like that, man. He was like, bro, just let your talent speak for itself. That's how I got on the Martin show. That's what niggas need to do. Stop begging, man. Perform. You are a comedian. Perform, dog.
Be great at that, man. DC Young Fly getting all these shows because he perform. He does what he do. Don't be begging niggas for shit. Don't bag niggas for nothing. I might send you a, a, a tape of me tracking jokes or whatever doing comedy, but I ain't gonna beg a nigga. I'm just gonna put in the, the tape, let you look at it. You don't like it, fuck it. Real nigga, real shit. You go your way, I go my way. Nigga, I ain't gonna hate you for that. For what? I'm not a beggar. I'm not no bitch nigga on my knees trying to suck a nigga dick. No. No, you never do that, bro. Every Spears, you know niggas don't do that shit, bro. We ain't begging for shit, bro. And if Eddie Murphy don't feel like he right for the role or whatever the case may be, he just might just like chilling with Alex, man. But why niggas hate that, though? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I'm not, not chilling with my niggas all the time. I'm going to sit around, nigga, you got a hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> I got rent coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that, man? That's some weak nigga shit. But, oh, man, I'm out, man. Being there, Charlie, man.